Hey guys, welcome to another episode of HCC Movie Makers Academy Movie Reviews. My name is Trey Dixon. And I'm Steffi Grace. And I'm sorry we couldn't be meeting under better circumstances, but we saw The Gallows. <laughs> the Gallows is the latest found footage horror film from a bunch of directors that you'll never hear from again. It stars a bunch of actors that you'll never see again. And in this film, a bunch of students break into their high school to destroy the set for their high school play. And while they're there, they get attacked by a spooker wearing an executioner's mask and a lasso or a noose. I don't know. This movie's stupid. What'd you think? Uh, okay, uh, let me start by uh, found footage. Found footage. Let's see, how many times has found footage worked successfully? I can think of two times that it has found it. Which ones would that be? Well, there was the Blair Witch Project. Of course. And there was a, a, a little esoteric movie called the WNUF Halloween Special, which was released directly to VHS. And that is an example of how it can work. And that's actually an underrated horror movie that we may review on another separate time. But yeah. not often is yeah. the answer. Wreck and quarantine. Wreck. Well, actually, no, you know what? Yeah, wreck. That, that, wreck. Yeah, wrecked it. That wreck was a way where it worked and, perfectly. And the bay. But no, this is a. I didn't like the bay, but oh well. The, this is a generic piece of crap. Yeah, it is. So, None of the characters are really, really that likable. Uh, can we can we talk about the characters for just one second? Sure. The the first fifty to sixty minutes of this movie, we are treated to the inane wisecracks of one of the most grating, obnoxious, moronic, stupid characters mm -hmm. I've seen in a movie in quite some time. Every time this guy opens his mouth, you want to jump into a fire pit. Well. Yeah. I he hate, was also a bully. He was a bully. I hate that guy. Yeah. So I think everybody did. So, but, uh, which is why I kind of applauded the nerd when he finally got back at him. Yeah. Yeah, the theater nerd. So we have annoying characters. Yeah. That's one of the big problems. Another big problem is that it conforms to a lot of the standard genre conventions that found footage movies have, where there's something off camera that makes a loud noise and then the camera quickly turns to it to see what's going on and there's nothing there. And whenever there is something there, it's something that shows up in editing or something that just shows up when the camera turns and mm -hmm. it's accompanied by a loud sound effect and it's not emotional. It's right, just startling. Right. There's nothing scary about I, it, it's just startling. I agree. And uh, I'm just going to point out something that uh, at first I had trouble with the timeline. Uh, it took me a while to g understand that, okay, you, all right, it's all found footage. Everybody has some sort of recording device. Yes. And uh, they, they go somewhere, and then one of the friends gets separated and killed off. And then it goes back, and then you see what they recorded, and it's like, wait a minute, they, they just died. Well, how is it? So I had to get used to that. It would do that, and it would jump back just so you could see how they died. It made no sense. Also, now I'm going to say something. What? I. That is the only part of this movie that I appreciated. I did not appreciate it. It was it was different. It was something different in a sea of something that I had already seen before. It was it, confusing. It was confusing, yes. Yeah. Was it particularly well executed? I wouldn't say so, but no. it was a bright spot in something that was totally generic and awful. I thought it was a dark spot because it was confusing, <laughs> you know, and so it, it, was, it made it harder to follow. And then there was another problem. The first thing they did when they tried to call for help well, let's see, they all have cell phones, obviously. Do they use them? No, they automatically assume that they don't get a signal. They don't even try. They, so they run to the phone in the, in the office to try to use it. Oh, no, it's dead. Well, can we try calling? No, we, there's no Why signal. try? The landline's yeah. down. Yeah, so automatically, that must mean <laughs> you will not get a signal. So, yeah. There's, there's a lot cell of phones are useless in this movie because they serve no purpose. There are a lot of illogical things that happen in this movie. The ending, there's... Oh my God! The, can we talk about that? We can spoil the ending of this movie because right, no one's right. gonna no one's gonna watch the this movie. Woman's face. So so Pfeiffer, oh. who is the theater girl in this yeah. in this movie, it was all a plan set by her and her mother. What we are left to believe is that she is the daughter of the young guy who died in the play twenty years later. So uh, twenty years ago. By the way, to quickly get how this movie was set up out of the way. The 20 years prior, there was a school play called The Gallows yeah. that uh, somebody accidentally died in. And then 20 mm. years later, they decided to go ahead and show the play as if that would ever happen. All right, but I want to talk about the stupid ending and how it made me want to find a punching bag and tear it. I, it made me so mad. Oh, my God. I thought it was, okay, when she was brushing her daughter's hair, she looks like this. It was very overdone and the, trying to look creepy, and it was the stupidest. That's dumbest, not what upset me about um, the dumbest, stupidest, most idiotic, dumbest, stupid thing I've ever seen in the what, world. What upset me about it was why? Why was Pfeiffer at the school to begin with? That's something that I didn't understand. Until you find out it was a plot that twist 
how would she know that those guys would be at the school anyway, though? Like, how would because because this is a movie. Where <laughs> <laughs> it's a movie. Okay, it's, so it's a very very dumb movie that defies logic. What were, how it came into existence? What are we gonna give somehow? This movie? What are we gonna give it? Oh wow! I'm going low. I'm going pre pretty freaking low. Are you going to go into the negatives? Because I no, am. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go three. Well, simply because that ending, the 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 look on the woman's face, <laughs> the stupid look stupid on the woman's face, brushing of the hair with that the wide eyes, the crazy thing, dude, that made me so that made me so mad. So I'm gonna say negative three. <laughs> for just for that reason alone, okay. Okay, all right, fine. Yeah. Negative three. All right. Thank you for watching HCC Movie Makers Academy Movie Reviews. We're brought to you by the Houston Community College Filmmaking Program at HCC TV. We love movies, and if you love movies too, then check out our website, www.hccs.edu, and enroll yourself in the art of filmmaking. Check out our YouTube channel, and subscribe if you would like to receive more alerts to videos just like this one. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Don't see the gallows.